fourth. Um, it was actually up there in my top four to swim anyway, so it was quite handy. It's not, I don't think it was on everyone else's top of their list. Yeah, I just fancied it. I like an end. I think if they get down here and you can keep them down here, feed them, you can clump them. But like I say, unfortunately, they all stayed up there. And you could draw a line between Dan and Bill, and it's pretty much been over. They would pick the odd straggler up down here, but uh, that's how it's been from the beginning of the week from the off. Uh, wind turned yesterday. We knew that's all, that's all it would take. Wind turned, pushed a few fish down here. Um, nailed a couple, scraped the 20 common and uh, 46 and a half pound mirror. Bit more settled today, so I thought that could be it. They started having bites up the other end again. Uh, but then today, just all changed. The spot that I've been fishing consistently all week and constantly baiting, uh, each rod's produced. Uh, we started off with a 53 pound common, which was just the most epic battle that I've ever had with a carp. Madness, yeah. Clive was in the swim, just Bob is just doing his lap of honour like he normally does once in the week. He's come around for a beer. Rod rattled off. Hooked a carp on the spot, which is 18 and a half wrapped, so about 75 yards. Uh, played it in, everything quite smooth, and then it's just quite left. And down there, you obviously can't see on the camera, there's a load of snags in the water and a load of trees that have collapsed and sunk. It's wrapped itself around that, so I've gone in up to my neck, waded round, gets a little bit un soft underfoot, so Clive's come round and he's helping me from the bank with a landing net pole. And he's basically wrapped itself round, it's basically gone under a log, turned round, come back on it and butted its nose up against the log so it won't get a budge. We've got the boat sent over, halfway across, fish come free, add a little power up, straight back in the snag again. So Mark's come over, so there's basically Mark in the boat, me up to my neck under the tree and Clive from the bank, all trying to sort this fish out. 40 minutes it was under there, thought that was it. And all of a sudden, came loose. I've jumped in the boat, towed me out in the middle of the pond and landed it, yeah, 53 pound common, which was PB common at the time until, what just happened? Just over 40 pound mirror and just finished up on a 64 and a half pound common. It's a new PB, yeah. Crackers. Absolutely crackers. Slow start, I weren't quite dooming. Um, I knew that if the weather turned in my favour that I could catch them. I was happy with the spot, happy with the bait. Everything was, the angling was going well. It was just whether they turned up or not. And yeah, lucky enough they did, so managed to catch a few. If basically, a few days in like that, if you worry and start to do different things, moving off spots, baiting other spots, before you know you've got six or seven baited spots on the go, the fish could turn up on any one of them. So I knew what I was doing was all right. I consistently just went about the motions. And like I say, I knew if that weather turned, it'd be all right, and it did. Got one more day, and I've got three rods currently leaning up against a bivvy, so it's not doing me no favours. 